Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's Pastor Ken here at Encounter Community Church, and it is now day eight of our 21-day fast. And again, as I've been asking every day, how's it going for you? Can you believe it? It is day eight. That means we have made it seven days. I, I don't know about you, but when it comes to this particular spiritual discipline of fasting, this is probably the greatest challenge that I've taken on. And I think one of the things that we have to make sure that we're doing is that we're doing this for the right reason. So we have to ask ourselves when it comes to fasting, what is it that we hope fasting will produce? Well, I can tell you exactly what God says he's hoping that it will produce. And it's seen in Isaiah chapter 58, verse six. No, this is the kind of fasting I want. Free those who are wrongly imprisoned. Lighten the burden of those who work for you. Let the oppressed go free and, the, and remove the chains that bind people. Share your food with the hungry and give shelter to the homeless. Give clothes to those who need them and do not hide from relatives who need your help. Simply put, I believe that here's what God is trying to say to us. And that's this. The whole goal of spiritual disciplines, specifically the goal of fasting, is to reconnect us in our relationship with God. Well, what is it that shows that we are reconnected with him? And it's simply this, that we care about others. Again, Jesus was asked, what is the greatest commandment? And Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. But the thing that was really interesting is he followed it up with this. He said, love your neighbor as yourself. And so again, if we do all the spiritual disciplines, yet it does not build in us a compassion for those that are around us, for those that who, who are in need, for those who are hurting, for those who are far from God, if it does not move us towards compassion towards them, then really our spiritual disciplines have been meaningless. So yes, it is important for us to see that we are growing more intimate with God with our disciplines. But what is the result of those disciplines? It is simply this, I care about others. And that care really begins to show in action. Now, here's the beauty of this. We find ourselves fighting this COVID-19 virus, right? We're in the middle of this right now. So there isn't a better time for us to show compassion. And maybe begin to look for ways that you can do that. I, I saw another great example this morning on the Nextdoor app, where what you can do is you can go through, there's a button that you can click, and now you put yourself on a list where if people have a need, they can contact you and you can work it out to be able to help take care of that need. I mean, just again, just another practical way to be able to show compassion. And as believers, for those of us that are practicing these spiritual disciplines, we should be the absolute, the absolute most compassionate people who go through this as a result of being motivated by these spiritual disciplines. So yes, the spiritual disciplines are vital, are vital. Read your Bible, pray, fast, do these things. But again, realize that they should be producing in us a movement to love others the same way that Jesus loves them. Well, again, I hope that this has been an encouragement to you. Thank you for joining me on this fast. And, and I would love, I would love to hear, again, how this is going for you. So please, comment in the section below. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, also, what are some ways that you can see that we can continue to be compassionate? Maybe you have some ideas for COVID-19 where people can be compassionate towards others. If so, please write that in the comment below. I would love to see what your thoughts are. Well, again, God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow.